work. Where is everybody? On a bus. A bus. Your batch of bums. <laughs> Your patience. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. They're going down to the theater on Chester Street that shows classic films. This is the afternoon that Jake provides free medical attention. Why would they go to the movies? I thought that if they saw the Grapes of Wrath, they'd realize things could be a lot worse. You know that whole Dust Bowl deal. You know, they need medical attention, not entertainment. What's with the outrage? I paid for it. They're getting popcorn. And it's the colorized version. <laughs> you are so thick. It's called charity. Oh, God. You are just the most insensitive, inconsiderate, most self-serving. Uh, Tina, Tina, uh, can you call the theater and just see if there's anyone who needs my help today, please? Thank you. These bleeding hearts. What are you going to do? You cannot come in and disrupt an entire schedule because of a whim. You have a real problem with spontaneity. No, don't I, don't, you? I don't have a problem at all with spontaneity. I have patience here at Greenlee that need my attention. And what about your needs, Jake? Huh? You're constantly shoving them aside. That's why I cleared your schedule. Oh, okay, okay. Listen, um, let's do recuperate for the massage and, and be warm. Yeah, 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 so yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah, thank yeah, you yeah. very massage much. Massage was a mistake, okay? You need something a little more active get the blood going, the adrenaline flowing. If you're lucky, you might even score. <laughs> Are you ready for some action? Well? Well, all right, all right, listen, I give up. Why are we here? I did some research and I heard this is what you do to relax. Are you ready for some one-on-one? -on -one? You gotta be kidding. Hey, I'm small, but I'm fast. And you also got a lot of nerve, Greenlee. That's a compliment, right? Do you ever think about anyone else but yourself? I used to worry about your pals from the shelter. I didn't lock them in a storage room, Jake. I sent them to a movie. So you could be along with me, right? You think I'm coming on to you? I think that ever since we saw Leo and Laura English at BJ's, sure feels like it. Get over yourself, doctor. I'm just trying to save you from your dreary life of duty. You're not my type. Oh, really? But I think everybody's your type. As long as it suits your purpose. And what's that? Well, let's think about it. Amusement, love, attention. Heck, you even pretended to be Jillian just to get Ryan back. Jillian has a big mouth. And you faked a suicide to try to get Leo's attention. And then you pushed, of course, Laura off the yacht because you were jealous of her. My lawyers cleared me of any wrongdoing, and I was under the influence of a dangerous drug. You were under the... <laughs> you cracked me up. You were under the influence of a drug that releases your inhibitions, meaning you did exactly what you wanted to do, Greenlee, which was to kill your competition. At least I fought for what I loved. What did you do when Ryan took your wife? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I get defensive and I say things. Hurtful things. Jake, Jake, please. Don't go. Come on, come on. Give me another chance. I'll be on my best behavior. It's not worth it. Yet, I have something to say to you first. I'm not interested. Leave Jake alone. Oh, honey. He is way out of your league. You know, Jake is a decent guy. He's had a very rough time lately. Who the hell do you think you are? You're a waitress who mimes on the side. That is called sign language. I'll show you sign language. Don't bother. I feel sorry for you. Sorry for me? You trade places with me in a nanosecond, and you know it. You're like everyone else in this pathetic town. You're jealous. I've got money, looks, brains. Too bad you don't have a heart. Well, who would it take the time to look? You're all so busy trying to keep me down. Look out! <laughs> 